Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack, I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is Xeon Synth by Beep Street. It recently got updated with a very nice list of features, but we're gonna get into the MIDI Learn capabilities. That's right, we can now map hardware or virtual MIDI controllers sending out MIDI CC data to all of the knobs in here. This will work for both standalone mode and in audio unit mode, but it will be a bit different setting up the hardware and virtual MIDI connections depending on how you got it running. Okay, so right now I've got Xeon Synth loaded in a standalone mode, and that's why we can see the step sequencer right here. And so the way you set up your hardware and virtual MIDI controllers is by going into this list right here. And here you'll find all of the MIDI inputs, along with the background audio options Option, which is very nice to have if you're sequencing Xeon Synth with another app. And so running Xeon in standalone mode, when we've got our hardware and virtual MIDI connections set up, then mapping CC controllers is really simple. We just head on into the tools menu right here and turn on the MIDI learn mode. Then simply choose a controller you want to map. In my case, I want to map the waveform selector to this slider right here. All I have to make sure that it is chosen and then simply drag the slider here. And there it is mapped. Now, if I map the wrong controller, then all I have to do is to double tap to reset the controller. But I want it mapped. To exit the MIDI Learn mode, we simply tap the Tools button again. But let's say we got Xeon loaded as an audio unit inside Cubasis, for instance. How do we do it then? Because here we have no step sequencer and the button for entering the MIDI input list is gone. Well, it differs depending on what door you're in, but you simply head into where the MIDI settings are. And in Cubasis, we can find it inside the routing menu here. And here I've made sure to choose the IRIC pads because that's what I'm using right here. Now, all we have to do is to head into Xeon. I'll add the keyboard and then go into the tools menu. Turn on MIDI Learn, choose a controller and pull a knob. Now we just have to exit the MIDI Learn mode and it is now mapped. And this is how simple it is. Now, I simply prefer using Xeon in a standalone mode because, you know, I kind of like the step sequencer right here. You can find a link down in the description so you can go grab Xeon for yourself. And if you want to know more about Xeon, then I made a great in-depth full review of the synthesizer not so long ago. You can find a link to that at the end of this episode and also down in the description. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. I'm working on an episode in where I'm um, comparing different types of synthesis and going through how they work basically what makes them sound like they do so I'm talking about additive synthesis subtractive synthesis FM synthesis wavetable synthesis even resonator or car plus strong synthesis it's gonna be a really really interesting video and so far it's taking me two weeks just to go through all the research and everything I'm almost finished with the script I just have a little bit left and then I need to write up the timeline 
to actually film all of the video clips I need for that video because I want to make that video look really really nice. I'm going to be using like an oscilloscope and also a spectrum analyzer at the same time. Yeah it's going to be a cool video so stay tuned for that. I've also got a Patreon page so if you want to support creativity and good content here on YouTube then why not sign up on Patreon. Now if Patreon isn't your cup of tea then I've also got a um, PayPal me link so you can do a one-off donation if you'd rather do that. Now if you don't want to do either PayPal or Patreon then if you want to buy an app why not check if I've got a video for it because if I've got a video for it then I usually have an app link down in the description. I am an Apple affiliate so I earn a percentage of the purchase you make of an app and it's a great way of actually supporting YouTubers like myself, Doug from the Soundtest Room and also bloggers such as Tim Webb and Discord or Music App Blog and John Walden. Now if you don't want to do any of that then you can always share my videos, press the thumbs up because it really helps with the ratings around here. And if you subscribe don't forget to press in the little bell thing because that way you'll always get notified whenever I upload a new video. As usual I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Even though my eyes are closed 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 I can feel the love